Smartphones these days are at the center of our lives. They're our go-to computer when we're not at home or we're not sitting in front of the laptop. They're the first thing we reach for when we need to get something done. So a smartphone that is tailored to you, a smartphone that has certain apps or certain features on it that can help you get things done quicker is vital. Most importantly for me as a college student and as a computer engineer, I need my phone to have certain features, certain apps, certain things installed on it that lets me glance at information as quick as I can and then get on to doing what I need to do instead of wasting time trying to figure out what I have to do next. Whether it be first thing in the morning, when I'm at my desk, or even between bathroom breaks, when I need to look at some information, I need it to happen quickly and I need to be done with it so I can get going. So today I'm going to show you guys a couple of apps that I use in order to streamline my smartphone experience that way I can get things done. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the main home screen to my phone. I'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of things on the home screen, different apps that I use before I jump into the super productivity related stuff. So first things first, I have a Zuper widget up top. I don't know what the exact theme is, but I like this one. I'll leave it in the description. Um, it shows the time in 24 hour format. I run everything off of 24 hour time as well as the date and the day of the week. So that way I have a nice big widget to be able to see all the time information. Next up, I have um, two folders, one for tasks apps and one for music apps. So for the task app, I have Google Keep and Wonderlist. I use Google Keep for just quickly jotting down information. If I hear something important, I think I have to remember that, I'll throw that in Google Keep. And I use Wonderlist integration with calendar support, which I'll show you in a second, for all of my events and all of the things I need to get done. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. Next up, the uh, audio folder, which I keep anything that I listen to, so um, podcasts, music, and more music. Next, I keep a Shazam uh, shortcut on the desktop home screen so that I can immediately just jump in there and hit that if I need to tag uh, a song that I'm hearing and I want to know what it is. Um, social media apps, Play Store, Hangouts, uh, Cloud Magic. Now, Cloud Magic is an email app. I don't want to jump into it and show you all my emails, but essentially you can sync... Um, I think five or six different email accounts and all the emails go in the heat go um i guess ring on the cloud magic app the benefit to that as opposed to using gmail um is that if you ever reset your device or actually get a different device um such as like uh, another tablet or something you can just install cloud magic sign into your one cloud magic account and immediately get all your sendings and all your email accounts um just by logging into your account so everything's kind of unified in one box you don't have to re enter more credentials every single time you either reset your phone or get a new tablet or whatever it is um, chrome dev camera nothing too crazy but the second we swipe over to the left this is when stuff gets real so you can see here i uh, i have a wonder list widget on the bottom and the month calendar widget on the top and what i have this doing is month calendar widget is essentially seeing my wonder list tasks in calendar view so what i can do is if i can say all right well what tasks do i have to do today and i can Im immediately just see on the month what days each event is due and then once i finish a task that's due for that day or later on i can just jump into my wonder list here and say okay well hey i just finished that and that's it so it's it's super organized in that this is a one-stop shop for everything that i have to do and with the integration between the two i can just go to one place and get all the information i need then if I jump over to the right side here, this is just a today calendar widget um, that's hooked up to the today calendar. So you can see here, I'll blur out all the events, but essentially I keep all the events that I have to do um, other than tasks. So this way I have events on this page and then on this page I have all my tasks. So it's very organized. So next thing I want to show you guys is push bullet. And for those of you that are not aware of push bullet already, you are missing out. So essentially push bullet is an app where I can get notifications from different websites, different devices, and myself um, automated. 
So the idea is if a, if a website that I that I follow, such as Droid Life, if they post a new article, I immediately get notified the second that it gets posted. In fact, there are times when I actually will go to the Droid Life website and I won't see the post yet, but I will have already gotten a notification saying that there's a new post so I can view it immediately. What I can also do with Push Bullet is I can essentially send myself different um, different links, different messages to different devices. So the idea is I can say, hey, and I can send it to all of my devices. So immediately you're going to hear, actually, yeah, well, there you go. You can hear my tablet ring and my phone doesn't ring just because I, it knows that I sent it from here. But it also sends to my, my laptops, my, my desktop, and any other device that I have. But the idea is I can send um, links, pictures, um, what else, files um, to different devices. So it's super easy to say, hey, you know, I see, I see a cool picture on my phone. I want that to be my desktop wallpaper. I can push that immediately to my desktop. And this is actually also share integrated on both iOS and Android. So I can uh, right click and hold on a web page or on a picture while I'm browsing and actually just share it to Pushbullet, which will then allow me to send it to different devices. So that's Pushbullet. If you have multiple devices, meaning if you have a laptop and a phone, that is enough of a reason for you to get Pushbullet. Another cool integration um, is that if I get a phone call or if I get a text on Pushbullet, it also rings on my computer. So the, the nice thing about that is that if I, I can see at least that I'm getting a text. I think very recently Push Bullet has integrated a paid feature. So if you want to respond to those texts, you actually do need to use um, their paid plan. Um, but at least for now, with the free version, you can still view and just be notified that you have new things coming in. So that's Push Bullet. The last thing that I want to show you guys today. Um, on the first edition of this productivity series is um, how a cloud storage application can actually really help you out. So I personally use Mediafire. Um, I do have a paid account with Mediafire. I pay $50 a year for a terabyte of storage. I'm actually thinking about switching to Backblaze. Again, both these are not sponsors, but Backblaze allows you to sync unlimited, or I guess backup, unlimited files for $50 a year, which I think is just an even better deal because I'm not limited to the one terabyte as I am on Mediafire. So just the ability to be able to sync all of your files um, to the cloud, not having to worry about um, files being corrupted or losing any files ever, because actually with Mediafire and Backblaze, you have history support. So if you change a file, if you edit a file, it'll keep record of that edit. So later on, you can recover a different version of the file if you've saved over it. So. I don't really think it's necessary for me to jump into the different files and different uh, organization I have in here, but I do think it's important to mention that having good file management and being organized does really, really help you um, in the long run just because I can say, all right, well, if I want to go back and, and see something that I did my freshman year of college, I can just jump into my main drive here. We'll let Mediafire figure itself out. I can jump into school, college, first year in college and then I have I think I even at this point yeah I had uh, both my fall and spring semester sync so I can just jump into fall and see my different classes I think it's very very important that you guys stay organized it can help so much in the long run I think it's really important for, for everyone to, to be organized so that's that's a uh, the benefit of actually having any type of cloud software cloud application in your on your phone all right, so that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or comments, even in the comment section below. Um, if you have any suggestions on what I can do to improve my workflow, leave those below too. I'm actually always looking for different ways I can improve my, my setup, especially on my phone, um, just because I do carry it with me every day. So I needed to always have the information that I need at a glance. So that's about it. And I guess without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the suggestion box. Suggestion box.